guys, welcome back to the Stealth of Legend. My name is Dilo, and I have some news for you guys. So today we're going to be talking about the DC streaming service, and this is called DC Universe. Sounds very similar to DC Universe Online, which is a game that my wife and I typically would play. We haven't played it in a little bit. This year I've been focusing on YouTube, and all my a lot of my free time has gone to either family events or uh, you know like church or this. You know, doing YouTube with you guys here, making sure I stick to one video a week for you guys. But it's fun. And it's cool because DC Universe has a really nice ring to it, and it's also very uh, self-descriptive. So it's so much more than just a streaming service, all right? So if you look at things like Netflix or Hulu, it's movies and television that go onto these streaming services, and that's exactly what they want to do with the Warner Brothers DC content. And this is not just the new stuff like Titans, um, Young Justice Season 3, or uh, Doom Patrol, Harley Quinn, um, that rumored Metropolis TV show revolving around Lex Luthor, which I'm really excited, hopefully it will come to fruition, but also the live-action Swamp Thing um, TV series, which is going to be a horror show, and that I'm very, very excited for. I think that's going to be really cool, really fun take, and uh, it'll be like very monster-esque, and I really like that. I really like monster stuff, so that's going to be really cool. Now, that stuff is just the surface. Right, this is just the stuff that they're launching to really draw people in, is the new content that's coming to this streaming service. And uh, they haven't announced a price yet, whether it's going to be like $10 a month, $20 a month, um, 5 bucks a month, hopefully, if it's like less, that's cool, but they got to stay afloat somehow. So we'll find out whether or not it's going to be 5 10 15 20 or if they're going to do it by month, you know, like six month or a year contract subscriptions. Um, it could be any of these things. We don't know yet, but we're um, still waiting to find out those details. But here's the cool part. So they start out this trailer by taking it all the way back to, what's her name, Pfeiffer, the, the lady who played Catwoman way back when, and now she's playing Ant-Man and the Wasp's um, Janet Van Dyne, the original Wasp. And it shows off the fact that they're going, bringing the old school DC stuff, the recent stuff, as well as the new stuff to this streaming service. So it's not going to be just the exclusive content you're looking at. Like you're thinking, why would I subscribe to a new service if it's only going to be like four or five shows? I'll blow through that in a time flat. If you're a binger like me and my wife. Well, the answer to that is that it's not just going to be one, two, or three things. In fact, it's going to be every DC content ever made. It's going to be all the animated cartoons, all of the animated movies, um, all of the... Uh, like the live action stuff, anything that ever I I would be I would be shocked if they didn't include like the Adam West old school Batman TV series because they they showed off a lot of the older movies and television and so um, I don't know if I I don't think I don't remember seeing anything along those lines I'll have to do that research for you guys and find out if they're thinking to include that but they said it's going to be everything DC so I imagine it will be we're looking at every DC project ever made on film or TV. And this is really exciting. I love the animated DC stuff. Now, Marvel does a great job. You guys can see in the background, I have a lot of like Marvel um, collectibles and paraphernalia. I also have some DC stuff. I've got my Star Labs t-shirt on right now. Um, I love what they're doing on the CW for the most part. But I also, um, I've always said this, that the DC animated universe kicks butt over the Marvel by a long shot. Marvel hasn't even scratched the surface. They've got like, I think it's like eight eight really good animated films out right now. You know, they have like the Hulk and the Wolverine or the Hulk and Thor, and they've got um, the, the Ultimate Avengers 1 and 2. Um, there's a lot of, there's some good stuff there, but DC's killing it. DC's never, they never stopped making good animated stuff, you know what I mean? I've always loved the X-Men in the 90s for the Marvel, Spider-Man in the 90s, um, X-Men Evolution. You know, there's a lot of good shows that Marvel has put out, but DC's been really consistent with their stuff and they never stopped you know there's never been like a couple years where it's like uh the mar you know like the dc stuff's really just not doing it right now it's like no it's always been doing it. it's always been good so that you can all expect to be on there i would i would hope and pray that they would put static shock on there if they, if they say that static shock is the old tv show is going to be on there and like batman beyond the original and then also the original batman um animated tv series dude it's over i'm there you can count me in i'm there i'm i'm on it that's going to be so cool so um, that always going to be there. That's not the end though. You're thinking like, oh wow, this is really awesome. It's not done. They're also going to have um, a lot of the mainstream comic books. A lot of the recent stuff I saw in the video um, is going to be on there. And some of these things I already have, you know, on, on in paper. I have, you know, hardcovers and I have um, comics like that. 
it would be really cool to be able to access all this stuff from there and that's what they plan to do they plan to make sure that everyone with this subscription plan has access to a lot of not all of but a lot of the dc comics um books and in e-format so you can access them from this streaming service from the app which is amazing i think that's really great because that's going to help to bolster some of their sales as well get people excited about the books and the content that's being put out right now and then they're also going to be intrigued and they'll probably go to like barnes and noble and want to get the rest of the stuff that may or may not be on the streaming service it's going to work out for both the customer and for dc in a very positive way and uh, then on top of that there's something else that they've done that i think is really really good and we'll, we'll find out if this is good or not, but they've added a social aspect to this app as well. So based on the things that you are um, using, either reading or watching, um, subscribing to and then either the TV or the movies, they have a community section where you can actually like chat people and it kind of has this social media aspect to it, which, you know, it's kind of sounds a little bit redundant, but the cool part here is that everyone who's on the DC streaming service loves DC. So you already have something major in common, and most people who would subscribe to this are either fairly obsessed or pretty darn curious. And so this is a great way to get people into that community and to really uh, become more social about it. And, and like people like me who go to the Comic Cons and go to, you know, Wizard Con and Hero Villain Fan Fest and all that stuff, you have. Um, a deep desire to connect and talk with people like I'm doing now. I'm talking to you guys and I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments about all this. I want to have this discussion with you. But that's the type of people you run into uh, when you get this type of thing going. You know, at Comic Cons, you know, you connect with people. Hey man, love that costume. You know, oh, that's an awesome Deathstroke. Or hey, you know, Deadpool looks great. You know, and you get you get into that mode where you want to chat, you want to talk about how they piece it together, why that's their favorite character, you know, like that kind of stuff. So you start to um, engage with people and they've allowed this on that streaming service. So the cool thing here um, is that this is all going to launch as a beta in August and people can start to subscribe to this in August and that's the plan so far and they plan to put out Titans in December and then early next year they plan to release Young Justice Season 3. This is really big news. This, These are the shows that everybody was like if that's exclusive to that thing, I'm getting that thing. I'm gonna subscribe to that right now, and I'm totally gonna do that. Um, you guys, I, I'm so pumped. Now, there has been some of those leaked photos about, say, like Raven, Beast Boy, Starfire, where the costuming, and it doesn't look like they have any makeup on. It doesn't look, honestly, in my opinion, it doesn't look like they were even shooting at that moment. It looked like they were on set to kind of have some interaction, but it didn't look like they were ready for, for shooting at all. They were probably heading to make up or heading to get their costumes, you know, like adjusted and, you know, corrected and all that stuff. It doesn't look like a finished product. Now, if that is the finished product, I think a lot of people, including myself, are going to be very upset, but I don't think that's how it's going to be. I think that that was an out of context photo. They weren't in front of the camera. The cameras were all pointing this way and they're over way over here walking the other way. You know, it just, it didn't look like that's what it's going to be. So I'm not worried about that. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Now, the cool thing is when they made this announcement, they released two photos of Bretton Thwaites as Robin. And this looked really good. He looks really legit. Like you can see like the, they, they made like this like weave in his cape and it's consistent with the weave and the armor um, on all the fabric sections. It's just so cool. I'm really excited. The amount of detail they put into the Hawk and Dove and Robin photos, I am very confident that they're going to put in that amount of detail to the more complicated characters like Raven, Starfire, and Beast Boy in CGI and makeup form. I'm pretty sure they're they're going to add either like some sort of like either prosthetic for Beast or like to fake teeth and that kind of stuff. They're going to have to do it the way they've obviously shown they care about making a comic book accurate. So I don't think they're going to like you know just do a weak job. On, on these guys when they went all out for these guys. They're not going to do half the team legit and half not. So that's my thoughts there. But there's a huge amount of details on this. Check out, let me see, what was it? It was Hollywood Reporter. I'm, I know that Screen Rant has it up as well. The Variety has it up. You can check those out there. But drop a comment down below. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about all this and the DC Universe streaming service. Thank you guys. Hey guys, D-Lo here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And remember to share this video with all of your nerd friends. I know you got them, and you know who they are. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this discussion. Let me know what you would like to see me do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel because you're a legend and we have that in common. Also be sure to turn on notifications to be notified right away when I upload my next video. 
or so that you can be alerted when I go live next time. That way you'll never miss a thing. Check out the other videos on the channel so that we can have a discussion on all your favorite movies and TV topics. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more right here on The Stuff of Legends.